Next on the last episode of Falcon Fever in Spring 2012. Coming up, I'll show you how the basketball team and the baseball team celebrated their historic season. And the UN baseball team is trying to build some momentum for the postseason, but wins are just hard to come by. And the Falcons tennis team has played its last match. We wrap up their season. Falcon Fever starts now. Welcome in, everyone. This is Falcon Fever. I'm Daniel Vest, and that right there is R.J. Sievertsgaard. You know him very well. Casey Beasley will actually be joining us later in the show, our very last show of the spring, R.J. That's exactly right, and the last of your career here at UM, right, Daniel? The very last one. That's exactly right, and we are in April. Spring sports are starting in their seasons, and that means summer is right around the corner. Well, the boys of summer got a chance to play in front of a live audience Wednesday, April 11th against cross-state rival North Alabama. The guys enjoyed a two-run lead going into the ninth, but saw it disappear very quickly. Three hits, two walks, a batter, and an error later doomed the Falcons in the last frame as the Lions took down, down UM 7-5. Will Fulmer was a bright spot for Montevello at the plate. He was 3-4 for four with two runs batted in. Austin Dubberly collected two hits. He had one RBI in the loss. After the heartbreaker to UNA, the Falcons had to turn right around and take on conference foe North Georgia in a three-game series. The last PBC games at Kermit A. Johnson Field this season. In game one, Montevallo took down the Saints 5-4 in 13 innings. Michael Shrees went eight strong and, and another impressive performance. He allowed just six hits and struck out two, picking up the no decision. North Georgia was able to split the doubleheader, however, winning at game two, eight to four. Senior Heath Peterson went two for five at the plate. He drove Will Fulmer home in the bottom of the sixth on a double. In game three, the Falcons found themselves down 8-1 going into the eighth inning, and the deficit proved too much. UM's pitching gave up 15 hits en route to the 8-4 loss. Josh Headley went three for four at the plate. He knocked in a run along with Chris Ross in that three-run eighth. With the loss, UM drops to 500 on the year and 15 and 12 in the conference. Still a few games left for the UM baseball team. April 18th, they face off against West Alabama. The Falcons then battle in a couple three-game series. They wrap up the regular season PBC play against Georgia Southwestern, then take on Tusculum. The Falcons then take part in the Peach Belt Conference Tournament May 9th. Just before the live baseball game on the 11th, the men's basketball team was celebrated and honored for their historic run to the national championship game. Falcon Fever's own Kermit, uh, Coleman Sears rather, went out to Kermit A. Johnson Field to cover those festivities. In the afternoon of the 11th, the university and its basketball team, along with the baseball team and a couple fans, came out to celebrate their historic season and the run they had to the NCAA Division II National Championship. It was great. It was a great event for uh, the campus, for the team, for athletics, and, uh, and it's a really good event for MassCom to be able to put it on live. It was just a great time, and um, I think everybody enjoyed it a lot. He also wants everyone to know that even though one person's name goes on the dust jacket, that an accomplishment like this is made possible through the cooperation and help of many people. Dr. Day's book will be published sometime in 2013. I thought this was outstanding. Nothing could mean more to uh, the student athletes and certainly to the college to have youngsters to have demonstrated such excellence at the level they did and for the community and the college to stop to express their gratitude on this kind of production. Yes. With friends, family, fans, and even the superstars out to support, today's celebration was a hit. That was Coleman Sears reporting. During the celebration, Coach Young said he was touched by all, by all the outpouring of support from the team from all over. It's been a great year for us, great year for the university. Appreciate the support of the faculty, staff, the students, the community. You know, I've gotten letters from people across the state that aren't even Montevallo alumni talking about that we made them proud, and, and that makes us very happy. Congrats again to Coach Young and his team for their outstanding season and all their accomplishments. We have certainly enjoyed covering those guys as they made their way to Highland Heights, Kentucky for the national championship. Just a great run. And the Falcon Fever crew is certainly looking forward to uh, another great basketball season coming up in the fall of 2012. 
Switching gears from basketball to tennis, the Falcons tennis team sure faced their share of adversity in 2012. Key members of the team suffered from injuries this year, but as the season ended, the Falcons looked to save face in their conference, searching for their first PBC win this year. Well, they weren't able to get that win, but the lone senior went out a winner. UM lost 8-1 in both matches against Georgia Southwestern in the 25th ranked Flagler. Departing senior Helena Nordgren was determined not to lose in her final matches at Montebello, but I am sure she'd tell you she would much have rather liked to get the team victory instead. She rebounded from set one defeats in both singles matches to win the next two and get Montebello on the board. Well, that's it for the tennis at the university until the fall. UM didn't finish where they wanted. They only won six matches on the year. None of those were in the conference. Nordgren improved her game from last season. She went 9-14 and 14 in singles matches this season. Her win total went up three from her junior year. The Falcons have two key returners for next season, Nikki Polsarova and Lauren Blair. Well, folks, if you need Falcon fever over the summer, don't worry. You can get all you need online. You can watch current and past Falcon Fever episodes on YouTube. All you got to do is search for Montevallo for you. And you can become our friend on Facebook where you can leave a comment, talk about recent games, or give a shout out to your favorite player. And of course, last but not least, you can follow us on Twitter. Just for, search for us by looking up UM Falcon Fever. Our Facebook posts uh, go straight to our Twitter page so you are never ever out of the loop on any social network. And to keep up with the Falcons' baseball progress as their season winds down, for extended sports coverage, team rosters, and other Falcons sports news, go to MontevelloFalcons.com. There you can find pictures from the various Montevello sports, full stats, and much, much more. Well, as we end Falcon Fever today, we want to bring in a very, very vital uh, member of the Falcon Fever crew, has been a stalemate in the last couple uh, semesters. That's Casey Beasley. Casey, welcome into the show. Thanks, Daniel. It's great to be here, back on the set this week. Oh, yeah. I'm in your seat today, so how do I look? How does Daniel look in your seat? Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to come back and take the time to thank everybody who's, you know, watched us this semester and really helped us out on Falcon Fever. Yeah, we've had a lot of great people. Um, of course, uh, you guys have been in there every single time. Demarcus Clinton is another person who works tirelessly every week. He is the graphics man for everything here at Montevallo uh, in the Mass Comp, whether it be streams, whether it be Falcon Fever. I know I'll send him graphics uh, many a times late at night, and uh, he'd have it ready to go the next day. So a big thank you out to him. Of course, Lex Murdoch running the videos that you see. He does a really good job. Mass Comp Student of the Year. Lex won that award Your boy. last week. Congratulations to him. Big things for him coming up. That's exactly right. And Everybody here at the MassCom department, of course, that's what, what you already said, so whatever. Thanks to everybody. Also, thanks to the athletic department, because we wouldn't be yeah. able to do most of this without yep. their help. That's exactly right. So just a great job overall. We really appreciate all of you tuning in every week. We've uh, really enjoyed bringing you all the stats and uh, interviews and things like that. These guys do a great job, and we, uh, and we appreciate you watching it. So. I, would, I would like to take the time also right now to thank our producer. He has anchored, and this past year he has done an awesome job of producing and make this show happen. And um, you happen to be friends with a couple of Mass Comm students, so we put a little something together. Oh, no. Because this is his get last out of here. Get he get out he out graduates, get so out of here. Lex knows what I'm talking about, guys. So let's run it. How is, uh, how, how is your framing right now? Let me see it. I don't have How's your framing? Okay, cool. I'm looking good. Good. Oh, hey. Welcome in. I'm Daniel Vess, alongside RJ Superscar here at the camera. Here at the Piggly Wiggly uh, in Montevallo. Uh, in the break room. And it's been a really good day so far. We are uh, just chilling around, you know, making money the easy way. Making money the easy way. Hopefully that Taylor don't kill us before the, by the time we get out of here so we can go home and enjoy some good old ribs. You know what I'm talking about? Some good old ribs make you want to slap your mama. Don't do that. If you are what you say you are A superstar Then have no fear The camera's here And the microphones And they want to know Oh, oh, oh Yeah, yeah, uh, a fresh
this cool young loon trying to cash his microphone check 212 want to believe my own hype but it's too untrue the world brought me to my knees what if you brung you did you improve on the design did you do something new where your name in on the guest list who brung you you the more famous person you come through and the sexy lady next to you you come too and then the hitman standing outside of heaven waiting for god to come and get me i'm too uncool unschooled to the rules and too gumshoe too much of a newcomer and too uncool like shadow and lavelle i battle with it well though i need a holiday like lady who sung blue go back whatever you did you undo heavy as heaven the devil on me two tons too if you are what you say you are a superstar then have no fear Okay, I'm gonna give us goodbyes, but good luck, Dan, in your future endeavors. Hey, Dan, thanks for all the opportunities I've had because of you from working with Raycom to getting to anchor Falcon Fever. Thanks so much for that. We're gonna miss you around here. Good luck. All right, Daniel, it was a good two, three years with you, man. Falcon Fever won't be the same without you. Uh, we're, we're all going to miss you here, although I, I'm pretty sure I speak for everybody when I say we wanted to just choke you 90% of the time. Uh, but uh, you know, good luck in everything you do, man, and, and just keep up. Keep up the good work. Keep in touch. That's it. Uh, hey, Dan. I um, just want to say you, thank you for all you've done for Falcon Fever, man. You have really uh, revamped Falcon Fever to the fullest. And um, I'm really glad I had a chance to work with you throughout the years. And, um, and uh, uh, for your future, hopefully, you'll get uh, way up top in the business, man. Uh, and I hope you do. Uh, truly, from the bottom of my heart, man, I, um, I really do appreciate you, Dan, for real. And um, uh, just thanks for all you've done for me. And uh, we will definitely miss you here at Falcon Fever. Hey Dan, I just want to say thank you for all the hard work you put into Falcon Fever over the, especially this past year that I've been here with you, but for all of the semesters before that, it's been exciting for me to see how you've grown and matured and become a stronger TV producer and writer and anchor over this time. I'm kind of freaking out with the fact that you're leaving because I don't know who's going to run the show from here on out, but I'm excited for you in this next phase in your life and I'm excited to see where your career goes. And one day, when you're some mega millionaire sports anchor on ESPN, don't forget about the people that helped you get there because I expect a check. So, good luck, I'm gonna miss you, and hopefully you'll come back and see us, so don't be a stranger. Shaboy! What do I even say, man? I mean, you're my best friend, man. Uh, super proud of you. Thank you for everything you've done. You've had my back since I got here in Montevallo, so, uh, I got your back once you leave Montevallo. So uh, thank you for making me realize what what my dreams are. Um, got me here to MassCom. It's all because of you, man. So I thank you so much, Dan. Love you to death. Best friend forever. So take it easy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that video is for you, bro. So a little emotional there at the end. Like I said, you're my best friend, man. I'm happy to see you move on and see where you go. So we appreciate you around here, and it's gonna be lonely in these halls without your boy. The y'all the bomb. I really appreciate that. I I know why. We know. Well, we know. I've been turning TVs off everywhere. You've been turning them on. <laughs> oh man, I really appreciate yeah. it, everybody. Good job, and. Uh, just a culmination of just so many people putting a lot of work and time into it, and uh, and this is what we have for you. So we but that is all we have for yeah, you. Yeah, it is. For today, for 2012, <laughs> I am RJ Sievertsgaard. Real quick, thank you also to uh, executive producer Bruce Finkley. Yes. Uh, he uh, has to wrangle us in from time to time and uh, get real. <laughs> like a herd of bulls out here. <laughs> you got to crack the whip and... Uh, but a uh, really, big, really big thank you to him. Uh, you know all his his experience in, at NBC 13 and a Montevallo alum and all that coming together. He really helped out the show. So thanks to him. Uh, I didn't really mean to inter interrupt you there. Yes, you did. For R.J. <laughs> Sievert's guard, for Casey Beasley, I'm Daniel Vest. For the very last time, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.